Hello. So today I want to talk about how complex it is to actually operate um, an oil pipeline system. So for real though, right? Um, you know, it seems like I, sometimes you, I chat to people and they're like, okay, yeah, but you're just moving things along like effectively a really big straw. Like this can't be that complex. Well, in actual fact, it's, it's quite complex. So, you know, I drew like a hypothetical system here. And so imagine having two inlets and, and four outlets. You've got a strip here and you've got uh, four delivery, or sorry, three delivery points. So four delivery points total. Um, so the actual combination of potential operational scenarios is two times four. So you have eight potential flow paths um, that a control room operator could be taking to uh, deliver a, a batch of crude or, or diesel or jet fuel or whatever it is that they're moving. So on top of the fact that there's this many combinations um, for a system like this alone, imagine if you had four inlets and six uh, delivery locations, you know, you multiply and you get more and more, uh, more and more operational scenarios. So, the, you know, not only is, is just, you know, determining flow path and making sure that each of these batches are getting to the right place, like, you know, that's a cognitive load. On top of that, you're dealing with all of these dynamic variables over here as well. So the dynamic variables are, you know, you're dealing with the elevation profile along the length of the line. So what if this is lower than this, but that's higher um, with respect to the ground elevation? Then you're dealing with process control valves. You know, there's going to be midline pump stations along here. Um, so how each of those valves are reacting, how they're working, um, what the control system is doing. Then you have pump stations, you have, um, you know, along the length of the line, you have uh, holding valves, so at the end at each delivery point, then you're going to have variable frequency drives potentially at each of the, um, at each of the uh, pump stations. So at the pumps, the, the variable frequency drives are controlling the speed of the pumps. You have isolation valves when you shut it down. You have the product density. So, you know, um, uh, crude oil is going to be much more dense than your jet fuel. You're going to have your viscosity. Crude oil is going to be like much more viscous than your jet fuel or your diesels. And then the pipe diameter changes. So if, if this diameter is bigger than this diameter, all of that makes changes into like the hydraulics of the system. And a control room operator is managing all of this in mental models in their heads to be able to execute and deliver um, customers crude oil to the correct locations at the correct flow rates and inside the pressure constraints. So, so yeah, quite complex to actually go through it all. Um, so I hope that gives some folks a little bit of insight as to how these systems are actually operated. I know I've kind of gone into the details quite a bit in most of my blogs. So I hope that this one's a little more, a little more uh, high level in general for everyone.